Okay. So uh, thank you uh, for attending this online seminar, which is about climate change uh, through e twinning collaborative uh, activities, uh, presented by me, Imen Taktak Marzouk, e twinning ambassador and mentor from Tunisia. Uh, so I will, uh, before starting the uh, the seminar, uh, I want to uh, to remind you that uh, no uh, certificates are no longer issued for the online seminars uh, under the professional development section. Uh, so you can uh, read this note. Uh, you can still join online seminar as usual, and your participation will be recorded on your profile and on your e-twinning portfolio. You will not receive a certificate for the online seminars that you attend. Okay, but it will be very benefit for your uh, professional development, uh, for your e-twinning portfolio, and for your practice in uh, e-twinning activities. Okay, so I will share my screen for you to start the seminar. Okay, so uh, I will make it uh, full screen. Our seminar is uh, about climate change through collaborative e twinning projects. Uh, before uh, 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 before uh, starting, I want to uh, to give you the planning of our uh, of uh, our uh, online seminar. And before uh, giving the planning, I want to know uh, the uh, country of each partic participant. So uh, you you can take your smartphone, or you can uh, uh, open a new tab in your PC, and you type www.manti.com, and you use this code twenty two fifty six zero. So I would like to start our seminar by a brainstorming activity in which you write your country using the following collaborative uh, tool, which is Mantimeter. So you write manti.com and you use the code 22560. Okay, thank you from Greece, Portugal. So uh, the final product, we will have a, a word cloud uh, of the different countries of uh, the participants. Okay, great. Yes, you are welcome. Good. Okay, as you, you see, as you can see, we have a word cloud about uh, the countries of the different participants. Uh, it's an, a collaborative tool we used uh, in our uh, e-training uh, in our e-training activities. Yes. Italy, Greece, Spain, Ukraine, Turkey, Portugal, uh, Romania, Tunisia. So we have many uh, participants from different countries. And if, you, if, you, if you, we, uh, uh, we know that we have uh, a country more bigger than the others, uh, that seems that we have many participants from this country, for example, Turkey. Yes. Great. Yes. Okay. Super. Okay, there are other participants because we have, uh, 
I think uh, 200 participants. So we have to found 200 participants in the uh, in this tool, as you can see. So we have only 54 that try their uh, country. Okay. So we will wait. So we, we obtain a words cloud. Yes, <laughs> we are all at home. And this is a great opportunity to share our feelings, our uh, uh, ideas together. Yes, okay. So we obtain words clouds of different uh, countries from uh, of the participants, yes. Okay. There are more other participants. So just you write manti.com on your smartphone, or uh, if you use a PC, you can uh, uh, open a new tab and you write www.manti.com and you type the code 22560. And you write your country. Okay. There are uh, uh, other participants. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will use uh, this tool uh, at the end also of uh, this seminar as an evaluation. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Okay, so we will move to our uh, presentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, writing your country. So now I will move to the planning of our seminar. Uh, in our seminar, we'll discover together what is climate change, uh, what is the difference between climate change and global warming, so you have to be careful uh, for uh, different informations given uh, in these two topics because we will play together a game, a collaborative game. Okay. Uh, we will discover also how to integrate this topic in our e-training project. How can we uh, uh, achieve uh, collaborative activities uh, about climate change and environmental challenges? Then we will, uh, we will achieve a brainstorming activity uh, in which you will uh, suggest uh, your uh, opinion and your ideas about uh, some collaborative activity, activities that you have, that you can done with your students at home. And uh, we will uh, move to some examples of collaborative activities together. Okay. So let's start. What is a climate change? So I will give you just some uh, informations about information about climate change and global warming. Then we will move to the game together. Uh, climate change is happening. It's largely caused by human activities, and it presents a serious threat to nature and people now and in the future too. Without ambitions, mitigation efforts. Global temperature rise this century could exceed 4 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels with catastrophic impacts. So, uh, as you can see, a climate change, as uh, you can see in this picture, climate change refers to significant long-term changes in the global climate. The global climate is connected system of sun. Earth, 
oceans, wind, rain and snow, forests, desert, and savannas, and everything people do too. The climate of a place can be described as its rainfall, changing temperatures during the year, and so on. But the, glo the global climate is more than the average of the climates of the specific, specific places. Now we will move to the global warming. Global warming is the slow increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. So because an increased amount of the energy straying the Earth from the Sun is being trapped in the atmosphere and not radiated out into space. The Earth's atmosphere has also acted like a greenhouse to capture the Sun's heat ensuring that the Earth has enjoyed temperatures has, that permitted the emergence of life forms as we know, as we know them, including humans. Okay, so uh, without our atmosphere greenhouse, the Earth would be very cold. Global warming, however, is the equivalent of a greenhouse with high efficiency reflective glass installed the wrong way around. Okay, so now we will move to a game. So we will play together a game using Kahoot. A Kahoot is a learning game tool to make learning awesome. So I will uh, go to Okay, so it's a live game. So we have to. Ah, you cannot. Uh, okay, it's okay for the sound. You can hear me. It's okay. Okay, yes, okay, not clear, okay, so we have a bad connection in Tunisia, uh, okay, so we'll play together a game, so try to, yes, try to type on your smartphone, kaud.it, and you type 24-87-72-6 without a link, without a link, so we will, uh, we will play together, so great, good, great, so you write kaut.it and you type Yes, your name. You type your name. Ok, 
Okay, so we wait just uh, for the other players. Yes, great. So just we wait for the other player players. Mm -hmm. So you write uh, code.it and you type the uh, game pin. Then you write your uh, your name, your pseudo name. Mm -hmm. Yes, we wait just for the other players. We have many participants in this online seminar, so just we wait. Uh, I don't know exactly, but just we wait one minute and we start. Okay? So please hurry up for the others. We have now 78 players. We have now 78 players. Okay. Shall we start? There are other players. Okay, so we have 81 players. 82. Okay, yes, we start. Okay. Okay, 3, 2, 1, and we start. So we have 12 questions about the impact of climate change. So what is this problem? So you have 20 seconds to answer is the storm, drought, starvation, or I don't know. Try to, yes, yes, is starvation, so we have 20 correct answers. Okay, great, George, great. Yes. Yes, what is this problem? So landslides, landslides of the world, hurricanes. Yes, please. You you have to be very quickly because you have only 20 seconds. Yes, landslides. 30 uh, correct answers. Let's discover the, uh, the first place. Yes. Bushra, I think. Yes. Good. What is this problem? The melting of glaciers, the storms, clouding, drought. Yes. Hurry up, please. Yes, please. 26 uh, correct answers for the green uh, choice. Yes. Yes. Nikati, good. In the first place. What is the problem? 
please hurry up when you answer uh, the melting of glaciers draft forest fires. It's very easy. <laughs> I think it's the blue one. Yes, 58 correct answers. Good, very good. Yes, Nikachi, excellent. Wow. What is this problem? It's a storms. Storms. Star. The star. It's the same word, but uh, in different spelling. Yes. Good. Is the yellow one? The yellow choice? Yes, Nikachi. Excellent. Very good. What is this problem? Uh, hurricanes, loading, loading, hurricanes. <laughs> yes. Three, two, one. Okay. Yes, is the red one? 37 uh, correct answers. Excellent. Wow, Nikati, wow. <laughs> what is this problem? So, it's the seventh question. It is melting, glaciers, glaciers of melting, the melting of glaciers. <laughs> Yes, is the green a choice? 40 correct question. Okay. Nikati is the first place. Two. Yes. We move to the eighth question. What is the problem? Yes, it's global warming, warm of the earth, the planet is hot, the earth is sick. It's very easy. Yes. I think it's the red one. Yes. 51 correct answers. Next. Okay, Nikati is, uh, is, uh, has uh, the first place. Two. Very good. Super. What is the problem? Ninth question. Is hurricanes flooding, flooding hurricanes? So you have to choose the correct color. <laughs> yes, is the blue choice. Good, 47 correct answers. And uh, Nikat is the has the first place. Yes, very good. What is the problem? Is the te tenth question the atmospheric pollution, buildings, air pollution, hurricanes? So, so there are two correct answers. There are two correct answers. Okay, so it's the red and the yellow uh, choices. 25 for the red, 38 for the uh, yellow. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we move to, uh, to the eighth question. What is the problem? Sea pollution, according to the picture, sea pollution, noise pollution, air pollution, sea pollution. Okay, great. So, next, we have 55 correct answers. Nikati, very good. 
And the last one, the last question. What does save the planet mean? Save the earth, save the people, save the trees. It's very easy. Yes. Five seconds. And we discover the correct answer. Okay, save the earth. Nine, nine answers for save the people. <laughs> Maybe save the trees, but the correct answer is save the earth. Okay, so on the podium we have the third place for Elif. Very good, excellent. The second place is for Join. Very good, excellent. And the first place is for Nikati. Excellent, very good, super. Very good. Okay. Okay, so I will share for you uh, the link of the code. Uh, I want to have a screenshot for <laughs> the winners. Yes, just one minute. Okay, super. Okay, so uh, I will uh, give you the link of the code so if you want to play it with your students mm -hmm. yes thank you okay okay so uh, I share for, uh, with you the, the link of the code if you want to play uh, with your students uh, this game so you can play it as a, uh, as a challenge with your students and the code is a learning games tool to make learning more awesome with your students okay so a climate change and it winning so a climate change and it winning we will uh, we'll see together what is uh, the um, how can we integrate this topic in our e-twinning activities in a collaborative way? So the e-twinning network is active on raising awareness on the effects of climate change and environmental challenges. This will be the annual team of the community and it will lead initiatives and active activities at European level in all the countries adhering to the action. This initiative is in line with what made explicit in the European Green Deal, especially regarding the role of schools, school training institutions and university are the best to interact with the students, parents and a larger community on the change needed for a successful transition. I will share with you this presentation later. Uh, all uh, uh, the information is uh, registration registered in this uh, presentation so 22 is the year of climate change and the environmental challenges for e twinning school participating in e twinning can equip teachers with the necessary information and knowledge to help them reflect on climate change and make their students understand its implications as early as possible okay so I will move to the next slide. Climate change and e-twinning too. So uh, I have put uh, some pictures with my students uh, as I have uh, achieved a project about climate change last year and it has uh, the European Prize. Uh, uh, for uh, the, uh, the category from 12 to 15 years old, yes. So uh, the e-twinning network is active on raising awareness on the effects of climate change and environmental challenges. This will be the annual team of the community and it will lead initiatives, initiatives and activities at European level in all the countries adhering to the action. This initiative 
is in the line with what's made explicit in the European Green Deal, especially regarding the role of schools, schools, training institutions and universities are in the best position to interact with students, parents and the larger community on the changes needed for a successful transition. So the students of today are the future adults that will be affected by the actual climate change. For this reason, for the e-training community, it is crucial to start already in the class to raise substantial awareness giving everyday actions of young generations and make them aware of the risk connected with the failure to safeguard the environment in view of shared behavioral sustainability. Okay, so uh, uh, we will think about collaborative activities. Uh, how, can we, uh, how can we achieve activities with our students in a collaborative uh, way at home uh, as a remote activity uh, about the topic climate change? So uh, these collaborations in joint action with before this part, okay, during 22, the aim of the community will be to support this process, trying to make teachers and students more sensitive to the teams by promoting the creation of a new, of a new collaborative project oriented towards developing sustainable habits. Okay, these collaborations and joint action with the exchange of experiences approaches and results uh, will provide teachers information and knowledge necessary to reflect in class on climate change and its implications in a direct and effective way, causing a, a, a cascade effect enhancing awareness in the community. Please, uh, okay. So before talking about uh, some examples of collaborative activities, I want to, to share with you a budget. So please take your smartphone or a new tab and you type padlet.com slash iman uh, uh, hyphen tac tac slash climate change. So you type this, this uh, uh, URL, this uh, website. Uh, in this padlet, you will uh, write your suggestion for collaborative activities on climate change. Okay, share your activities that you have achieved with your students. Uh, yes, I will send for you the link. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is the link of the Padlet. Yes, thank you. Uh, this is the link of the Padlet. So just you uh, you click on this link and you uh, write your suggestion what do you think about uh, some collaborative activities or you can share your activities that you have already achieved with your students at class or uh, as a remote activity in a collaborative way or you can think about collaborative tasks that you you can do them with your students on the climate change topic and the environmental challenges Yes, yes you, please, you write your name if you want, of course, and your country, and you share, we will share together our ideas, yes, from home, as a remote activity, together, yes, why not? We can think about some activities that we can achieve together with our students at home, why not? Or you can share your activities that you have achieved, already achieved with, you, with your students uh, uh, at class before, uh, before closing the schools. Yes. Great. Yes, you have the time to write. Mm 
-hmm. And you, you, after writing your uh, activities and your suggestion, you can uh, comment for uh, other suggestions. It's a very good uh, collaborative tool, this Padlet. It's a virtual wall in which you can write your ideas, you can uh, interact with others, uh, you can write comments. Of course, we, uh, before doing the, uh, the activities with tuning and uh, with uh, uh, any topic, we have to think about the tool that we have to use. Uh, we have to think about a, a tool that can be uh, used with many uh, students or with many participants uh, as a collaborative tool. Mm -hmm. So after writing, we will uh, read we will read together uh, the most of your suggestion because you are very uh, many we have many participants yes uh, so okay we will have uh, yes thank you thank you Sema okay so we have many ideas just to write your ideas, what you think, how can we integrate this uh, topic, this annual team, is the e-training annual team, how can we integrate it in our activities? So we have a project, we have e-training project, project uh, with uh, pending activities. So we have to think about some activities that we have, that we, we can do it, we can do them with our students as a remote activity. I will give you some examples uh, later, but uh, before that, I want that you write your suggestion as a brainstorming activity. You write your uh, ideas, what you think. <laughs> Thank you, Fatma. Mm -hmm. You can recycle the things which can use again, again. Uh, okay, so I will read. Yes. Thank you, Aisha. Okay, so we shared reading and we discussed the articles in the forum, yes, we grow fruit seeds in the uh, garden or in the jar to plant, uh, what else, yes, uh, my students are working on a twinning project where the point of view is, uh, okay, 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 So there are many uh, many participants that write at the same time. So I have to wait. I have to wait to to be able to read all the posts. Mm -hmm. So think about activities as a remote uh, remote activities with your students, and you can uh, make video conference with your students. Uh, using any video uh, conference tool to share your uh, ideas with your students. And you can uh, share with them your screen, uh, the twin space of your project. Uh, you can wait for them, uh, you can wait them to, 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 uh, to enter to their twin space and uh, contribute in the forums. Uh, Right, uh, doing their pending activities at home. I know that um, that's not very easy because uh, face to face uh, is the most uh, solution for uh, uh, having successful collaborative activities. But uh, uh, we have we have to find uh, solutions to our uh, uh, to our case to our uh, staying at home. So we have to contact our students and to think about uh, some activities uh, with our students 
about uh, this topic, climate change and uh, environmental challenges. Okay, so I will uh, read some activities. Col uh, okay, collaborative Padlet on how to save forests. Collaborative Google Docs with uh, links about the news and videos, plastic pollution around the world, PowerPoints. Uh, yes, very good ideas. Uh, okay, PowerPoint. Uh, of natural parks near and area and the environmental problems they have got. Excellent, very good, Raquel, good. Okay, so I try to read because uh, there are many posts at the same time. And also you can read the suggestion of your friends. Ah, very nice. Yes, good. Mahmed Haka, voila, great, okay. Planting and reuse activity, we can create a book with a story jumper, yes. Yes, uh, why not? Collaborative Padlet uh, on how to save planet. Research, uh, yes. Students can take pictures of wrong actions in their town and then build a mirror on school show colleagues new ways to act very nice good yes i will put uh, command yes we can create uh, a book yes uh, we collected garbage mm -hmm. magazine prepared for climate change yes why not playing kahoot playing it with partners who raise awareness and we have made some reuse activities during short time in other project we sent advice cards to one another within mixed groups and made videos and sent them to our partners yes excellent very good using online photo tools like poster my wall yes Hannah uh, to sensitize others about the harmful effects of global warming and the human beings yes Good. Animals, plants, etc. Okay, great, Hannah. Uh, grow new plants for cutting at home during this period, staying at home due to coronavirus. Yes, we, we, we try to think about uh, some uh, activities at home with our students at home. I have prepared some examples for you. To share uh, with you so, uh, just some examples of uh, collaborative activities that we can do at home with our students in this period of coronavirus. Uh, yes, I have already read this one, but not completed. Uh, for Maria, yes, from Portugal, they have answered the questionnaire and now they are collaborating. Uh, I tried to find the post <laughs> because many posts at the same time. Okay, so I will wait just for one unit to continue writing. Yes.
Hmm? Okay, so we can start a company for global warming with all nation kids. Yes. Uh, okay, there are studies on recycling, but it's not enough. Not all trash is trash. They need to learn it now. Yes. Uh, we can do much from home, but we can try to do some activities. Mm -hmm. Talk about our personal experience. Start on work in school garden. Make a book. Make waste art material. Yes, we can make uh, waste art material at home as a collaborative activity. Uh, we'll see together as an example for uh, this idea. Uh, okay, for Anna, students and uh, staff have a greater sense of belonging in the school. Uh, students have more meaningful and hands on learning. I try to find the post. <laughs> uh, on, uh, and hands on learning opportunities. Teachers have new professional learning opportunities, yes. Schools achieve a significant uh, ecological footprint redu uh, reductions. Very nice ideas. Yes, Anna, thank you. Schools save money through uh, efficient resource use. Mm -hmm. uh, school comp uh, compenses. Yes, I try to find the post or uh, greener and more beautiful. Yes. Access to teacher resources, expert knowledge, and uh, uh, financial uh, support. Very good, very nice. Very nice idea. Thank you so much. I prepare activities on respect for the environment with images draw, draw or on paint or in the Padlet. Yes. Natasha, yes. Good. Yes, thank you for this image, uh, uh, Zahar, from Turkey, to make designs for our students. By recycling waste materials, by watching videos showing the creators, the, the creators living under the ground, train, trainings can be organized on the subject of not throwing trash to places and seas. Yes, we can make a tree planting activity by drawing pictures about climate change and to talk about adverse situations. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. you participated in the event with your students. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Slavika, uh, you made, uh, you post a video. Okay, so we will, I will see it uh, after the seminar. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have also, uh, we shared readings and we discussed it. Uh, what is, yes. Uh, and we discussed the articles, distance learning in the forum giving gated questions. Yes, very good. We can use forums. And uh, they can interact, pupils, they can interact using forums on the twin space. Uh, and they can uh, share their feelings, their uh, uh, ideas. Uh, they share their uh, good times uh, spending at home. And uh, others can uh, comment and uh, can reply for uh, uh, the, uh, 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 their friends' uh, threads. Yes, super. Good. Yes, very nice picture. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Nazif. Our school has a membership. Our students prepared game with Web 2.0 tools. Yes, good, very good. Excellent. So we wait for others who made their opinion. We have the time. To, yes, thank you for uh, the video, uh, such manner. Yes, thank you. The training for the future, clean cleaning, for example. Yes, thank you. We should take attention about using recycled bins. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice ideas, very nice activity. So uh, research about uh, new uh, uh, sources of energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, creating games, uh, participating in e-training project. Yes, thank you. Very good. Very nice ideas, very good. Uh, okay, so I will move to the presentation. If you have other suggestions, I will wait for you, if you are writing, okay? Ah, you are still writing in the Padlet, okay, so I will wait for it, I will wait writing, your suggestion. Then we will move to uh, some examples, I have made some examples of collaborative uh, activities, uh, about uh, the topic climate change that we can do with our students at home. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, really very nice uh, ideas, very nice uh, participation, okay, so uh, we will wait, there are other, uh, other one who write uh, their idea. Yes, okay, so uh, I will move to uh, the presentation. So thank you for your uh, for sharing your ideas about uh, uh, collaborative activities in uh, the topic climate change and environmental challenges. So I have made some activities uh, that I found uh, they are important and uh, it's uh, they are easy to implement in our, at at our home. Uh, for example. Uh, if you have a project about climate change, about earth, about nature, uh, about anything related to climate change, you can make a, an environmental commitment, an environmental engagement with your students. So we can write the same commitment to promise each other to do our best to protect our earth. For example, we can use a collaborative tool as a Google Slides for all the partners. So. For example, we made the same environmental commitment, the same uh, uh, text, uh, and the same text will uh, be uh, 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 will be presented uh, by different way uh, from uh, uh, the students of all the partners of the project, and uh, each partner have one slide to put uh, the pictures of their of their students about this uh, environmental commitment, how they present uh, this, uh, this idea. And uh, this, uh, this activity can be achieved at home, okay, can be achieved at home. So we can make a video conference with our students and we explain the environmental commitment, uh, the text that, uh, that is standard for all the partners uh, and uh, the students have to express this text uh, with uh, with different way. Okay, then uh, each partner have one slide to put uh, the video or uh, pictures or the photos taken taken by uh, their students. This is one activity. One example. The second example is that pupils can record themselves while planting trees at their home. Then we made one video including all the pupils' recordings. Also, uh, pupils can contribute in drawing one poster together to sensitize the people of the importance of planting trees to save the planet. So the first, uh, the first idea is that pupils can record themselves while planting trees at their home. 
then we will make just one video uh, including all uh, the pupils' recordings. Uh, and uh, this is uh, one of a collaborative activity. Or we can use the same poster, the same drawing, and all the students can access to this drawing and they put their uh, uh, code or their uh, image related to uh, uh, saving the planet. We can use as a collaborative tool uh, to, to make a, a common poster is Poster My World. The third activity is that we can create illustrative. Yes, uh, we can create illustrative songs to promote saving the earth. So we uh, we can ask our student to sing or to create a song, or we can uh, make a collaborative song using Google Docs together with all the partners. It's an activity for the partners, and uh, we can uh, give the song to our students to uh, sing at home and we made uh, we made a collabor uh, a common video for all the songs or for example we have a collaborative song and we give uh, one sentence to uh, two students or to one student for uh, the partner number 1 the second sentence for the partner number 2 the third sentence of the song for the partner number 3 and uh, 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 this, the students song uh, uh, obtain a collaborative song with uh, different uh, student voice voices okay also we can celebrate the earth day okay just i will put on full screen just uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, celebrate the Earth uh, Day. It's an international uh, international day. Yes, we want to raise awareness among our students to preserve our Earth from pollution through celebrating International Earth Day. For example, we can write a collaborative story using Google Docs or using Story Jumper as a collaborative tool. The topic of the story is climate change causes, climate change effects, climate change solutions. For example, we have three partners in the project. The first partner uh, asks their students to access to the, the Google Docs and write and start a story about climate change causes. The second partner uh, gives the access, gives the, the, the link of the Google Docs to their students to write, a, uh, to complete the story of the first partner and they write uh, uh, they, they complete the story about the climate change effect and the third partner contribute with their student with the climate change solution for example as the most important activity in uh, uh, an e-twinning project and that make uh, the e-twinning uh, the e-twinning project uh, a, a successful project we have to make uh, working in international teams. We have to make international teams between students. Two students from the, the first partner, uh, two students from the second partner, two students from the third partner work together. And the same thing, two students from uh, two other students from the first partner, with two other students from the second partner, with two other students for, from the third partner work to, together. Uh, in the second topic, etc. So we have to work in international teams of students to make our project, our equine project, uh, uh, succeed. Uh, each team focus on a common topic related to pollution, for example, its different types, its uh, effects, and proposing solutions uh, uh, to create a collaborative production video presentation, role play, radio, interview. So each team have to focus on uh, one uh, topic. Yes, I have to, uh, to focus on one topic related to pollution or you can, or they can, uh, uh, we can make international teams about the different uh, types of pollution. The first team will work about air pollution, the second team uh, land pollution, the third team 
uh, noise pollution and uh, for example we we take the the uh, or for example we can we can uh, work about uh, plastic pollution also it's very a uh, good topic and uh, if we take the plastic pollution we can divide the task between the uh, the members of the, the same group uh, for example, two students, uh, we have six students in one team. Two students can work on uh, causes of plastic pollution. Uh, two students can work uh, on uh, uh, effects of plastic pollution. And two, uh, two uh, other students uh, of the same team can work on plastic pollution, solution of plastic pollution. Okay. And uh, after working, we can make uh, one video about the plastic pollution causes, uh, effect, and solution. Or uh, we can make a presentation, or role play, or radio interview. All these activities can can be achieved at home. Okay. Just we need one video conference with our students to explain them the the, the activity. Okay. The instructions of the activity. Okay, and uh, a very important, uh, very important uh, activity is that uh, we can work on SDGs related to climate change. So we have uh, some SDGs related to climate change. SDGs is the Sustainable Development Goals. We have uh, 17 goals, but we have five goals that are related to climate change topics. SDG number six, sustainable development goal number six, is a clean water and sanitation. Uh, SDG seven is affordable and clean energy. SDG thirteen, climate action, which is very related to our topic, climate change. Uh, in climate action, we, this this SDG is focused on a climate change causes, climate change effect, and climate change solution solutions. SDG 14 is life below water and SDG 15 life on land. So, we can work on SDGs. How can we work on these SDGs? The students express their reflection on SDGs using Flipgrid tool. You know that Flipgrid is a Microsoft tool. So, it's a student reflection to record videos for student engagement. engagement. So, uh, you can create an account on Flipgrid and uh, you can uh, give the link to your student to record uh, just a simple video for one minute, minute they express their feeling on SDGs, uh, how they think about the, these SDGs. I, 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 I told I, uh, 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 the SDGs related to our climate change, only the SDGs related to our climate to the uh, climate change topic. Okay, the six climate uh, the six SDGs uh, mention it uh, in the screen. Okay, so we can use Flipgrid tool as a tool to record videos for students' engagement. It's a very nice collaborative tool. Uh, we also can create uh, acrostics for each goal. Uh, for example, we can create a collaborative poem as acrostics. Uh, we start, for example, climate change. We start uh, a, a, a sentence with C, a, a sentence with L, a sentence with I, with M, and we obtain a poem as acrostics. Uh, though those uh, those acrostics will be achieved in a collaborative way. For example, we we work on the same Google slide. And uh, we write uh, send, uh, uh, partner student from uh, first partner write the first sentence, student from the second partner write the second sentence, etc. And we obtain a final product obtained, uh, obtaining a poem dealing with each goal. So I will give you some example. So I have some uh, achieved uh, examples of uh, these acrostics. Yes, like this, climate action.
Yes, for example, uh, climate uh, action. So we 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 take the C, the L, the I, the M, and we put uh, we put a sentence started or a code started by C. Okay, to obtain a collaborative poem, and uh, each pupil write his school or her school and his name and uh, uh, his country. Okay, as you can see, it's a, it's a very good collaborative activity and we can do it uh, as a remote activity. Uh, live on land. Yes, live on land. Okay, and each of you will write a sentence and write his school, his name, and uh, his country. Okay, uh, so uh, if they can write sentence related, of course, to the SDG, uh, life on uh, land, or they can uh, he can write he can write a code, as you can see. Okay, for the flip grid, these are the other uh, SDG, uh, SDGs, yes, related to uh, climate change, life below water, the same thing, so we can write life below water, sentence, water is life, water's ocean drive global system that makes the earth uh, habitable for humankind, uh, this uh, this pupil is from uh, 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 this student is from a uh, uh, school uh, Romanian school, etc. Okay. So and I will give you an example of a flip grid. So just you just you log in as. Uh, as an educator and you can uh, yes 20, I have 21 video for this uh, topic As you can see, we have uh, the videos of the students, all the students, they express their feeling about SDGs. You can see this video. So, a woman was at the seven, and the guy was talking about 40 technology, but the world was. But the really sad news is knowing that hundreds or even thousands of individuals are dying every day. Okay, so students can interact uh, with this uh, tool at home. So just you write your, uh, you, uh, you create an account on Flipgrid and you give the link to your students to express their feeling about uh, SDGs related to climate change. So uh, we will see this video also. So, as a famous author said, every drop in the ocean counts. Also, sanitation is one of the essentials of our life. That's, That's why, why we must, must preserve, preserve it. it. So, try to minimize as much as you can your water consumption. And, thank you. So, just for 30 seconds, just video for 30 seconds, and they can, they can express their feelings, their thoughts, their ideas about climate change, about uh, SDGs related to climate change, for example. Okay. Okay. These are the uh, the activities, uh, some examples of collaborative activities related to climate change and environmental ch challenges uh, that I found uh, we can do it, we can do them, and we can achieve them uh, at home as remote activities with our students. 
okay so uh, as a final uh, evaluation as a final uh, activity in our seminar so i want that you take again your smartphone you type www.menti.com and you type again the code 222560 or you can open your uh, new tab on your pc and really i i would like to know your opinion about the seminar it's my first seminar and I hope it, uh, it, it was a good and uh, benefit uh, for you, for all the participants. Okay, so I will click on uh, this tool. So you type menti.com and you type uh, the code 225600. And you write your uh, your opinion about uh, this seminar. Okay, so we have used this Mentimeter tool as a collaborative activity on the first on the beginning of the seminar to know the countries of the different participants, and we obtained a, a word cloud of all the countries. It's a collaborative. Uh, 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 it's a collaborative tool you can use. Uh, and also we can use the, the same tool to write our opinions okay it's a very good tool uh, that we can use in our collaboration with uh, with our students and with our partners okay thank you so much thank you for your uh, golden words Really, I am uh, so glad to participate with you uh, this uh, this time and uh, to share with you uh, uh, all these inf information. Thank you so much. I hope that uh, the, the seminar was uh, a benefit and was interesting for you. I will share the presentation for you. Yes. Yes, uh, this is the uh, the link of the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you for your uh, uh, 